here in verse 14 in whom we have redemption tonight as you come to the lord condemnation will vanish away and the guilt will be taken away and the oppression and the suffering will be taken away in whom we have at this present moment now the moment you repent and believe we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sin forgiveness of sin forgiveness of sins what are you going to have tonight let me hear you as you come and you tell him to wash you uh, you'll be whiter than snow he'll make you worthy and then eternal life will come you'll have forgiveness of sin in jesus name and then he tells us in mark chapter 2 i'm reading from verse 5 mark chapter 2 verse 5 when jesus saw their faith their faith was expressed in their willingness to come to him their faith was expressed in their coming to him against all odds, against all thoughts, against every form of discouragement, against anything that could have prevented them. He saw their faith. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. That's the beginning of the blessing of God in our lives tonight. It will speak to your heart. It will say, son, daughter, your sins be forgiven thee. And when that forgiveness comes, when that grace of salvation comes, then all the other blessings of healing, of deliverance, of answered prayer, everything will come to your life. Look at verse 9. In verse 9, whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, arise and take up thy bed and walk. Then in verse 10, in verse 10, but that she may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. It says to the sick of the palsy. In verse 11, it says, I say unto thee, arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. First of all, forgiveness. First of all, eternal life. First of all, salvation. Because that is what opens the door of heaven for us to go to heaven. After that, healing. Arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. Look at verse 12. In verse 12, and immediately he arose. When are you going to arise? When are you going to get healed? When is God going to change all the suffering, all the sicknesses, all the plagues of your life? Immediately now, and immediately he arose, and he took off his bed, and he went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed. And glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. In this fashion, it will happen to you. Yeah. I'm looking at Psalm 51. I read now from verse 7. Psalm 51, verse 7. Purge me. That's the prayer. Cleanse me. That's the prayer. Blot out my transgression. That's the prayer. Purge me with Esau, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Look at verse 12. In verse 12, it says, Restore unto me the joy 
of thy salvation. The joy of salvation is coming to your heart tonight. The joy of salvation will fill your heart and your soul tonight in Jesus' name. Uphold me with thy free spirit when salvation comes, new life comes, righteousness comes, forgiveness comes, then it's not only salvation for the night, salvation for the day, it's salvation that continues for the rest of your life. As the Lord himself who has saved you, upholds you with his free spirit. Revelation chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 4. In Revelation chapter 3 verse 4, thou hast a few names even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments tonight, it will give you the garment of righteousness. Yeah. And that garment you will keep, and you'll not allow the world and sinners in the world, sinners inside to soil that garment, that garment will remain clean and white. It says they have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white for they are worthy. The salvation you have today makes you worthy and then you continue in that salvation of the Lord walking with the Lord every moment of your life and keeps you worthy and when you come to pray you are worthy of an answer when you ask the Lord for the solution to your problem you are worthy of the solution to your problem and when you demand anything you are worthy of his provision because he forgives you because he saves you because it shows the favor of life eternal on you and you are walking with the Lord and it makes you worthy of his fellowship. And then when the time comes to go up and go and see the eternal God, you'll be worthy of seeing him in heaven and living with him in heaven because it's forgiveness that you get today. It's salvation that you get today. And it's deliverance that you get today. It's cleansing, it's washing, and it's purifying your life that you get today. Makes you worthy until that day when you see him face to face. You will see him. I will see him. I will see him. I will see him because he forgives you, because he sets you free, because he gives you his salvation and you hold on to that salvation and he has translated you out of the kingdom of darkness and you don't remain in darkness and sinfulness anymore and your healing, he'll give you your healing. He give you the miracle. He give you the deliverance. Tonight is my night. Tonight is my night. Amen. You will forsake all iniquity, all transgression, all evil, and everything of unrighteousness. Say, Lord, I drop them. Lord, I keep them away from my life. I confess, I forsake, and I'm asking Christ who died for me on the cross of Calvary to change every situation in my life and give me the power to go and sin no more. Not to continue those evil, dirty, defiling things I've done in the past. That grace will come to you now. And then, uh, if you have any sickness, any infirmity, the Lord will touch you and heal you and take all that away in Jesus' name. Ready? Yes. Willing? Yes. And you'll do what the Lord wants you to do? Yes. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The forgiveness of the Lord is available. The favor of the Lord 
is available. The grace of the Lord is available. You'll do it right there today. You want this forgiveness so that freedom, favor, salvation will come to you. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand to say, Lord, I am willing. Lord, I am ready. I want your forgiveness in my life. I want your salvation in my life. Where are you? Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. Be ready. Be willing. And then tell the Lord, I will not continue in my sins anymore. I will not continue in my iniquity anymore. I will not continue in my transgression anymore. Raise up that hand. Stand up as you are raising up the hand. Stand up. That's right. That's right. God bless you there. God bless you there. God bless you there. Stand up right there and show your willingness and your readiness to receive the salvation of the Lord. The translation that it takes you away out of the kingdom of weakness and darkness and sinfulness and it brings you to the kingdom of his dear son. Rise up. Tell the Lord as we're rising up that, Lord, I want that favor, that forgiveness. I want that pardon. I want that eternal life. The salvation that will make me ready for heaven. Take me away from the path of hell and bring me to the very path of your salvation tell the lord right there as you're standing up the lord is faithful and the lord is ready he'll forgive you now keep up your hand as you are standing up and pray with you now father in the mighty name of jesus and lord and savior i come on behalf of every sinner every transgressor that has repented and they are calling upon you that they want your salvation, your forgiveness now. Forgive them in Jesus' name. <laughs> Blot out all their transgressions. Change their lives and grant them favor and grace for righteous living in Jesus' name. <laughs> Confirm in their heart the joy of salvation grant unto them the peace of salvation grant unto everyone the victory in salvation that they will not continue in the old way anymore in jesus name let your spirit be a witness with their heart with their spirit that right now they are saved they are forgiven and they have reconciliation with God, redemption from God. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors will attend to you there. And then after that, I'll come back and pray for those who have the need of healing, deliverance, miracle. It's coming your way. I call on a moderating an overseer to help us this time of counseling. Remain standing. Our counselors, please, as we have been divided in the morning, let's move into the congregation now and stand by those people, take them one by one, take all the information, no preaching, just take the information. Our choristers, let's move into the congregation, don't stay by the wayside. Cover the clusters you have been appointed to.
keep standing up and raising up your hands so that you can be identified. Don't allow them to pass you by. Make sure you are captured as one of those people whose name are being written in heaven today. Congratulations. Angels are rejoicing because of you. Let's move very fast. The supervisors ensure that uh, uh, everywhere is covered, not just in front alone, the far back, back on the right side, back on the left side, back in the center. Let's make sure that every cluster is covered. And let's do it neatly, write in capital letters, write legibly. The phone numbers, scan them, it should be 11 digits. Once you finish one person, move to the next person. This, if you have not been uh, attended to, don't sit down. Remain standing there. You can call the attention of the counselors. They will move to you. Moving to the back, moving to the center, come into the middle. Don't stay at the edges alone. Don't sit down until you are attended to. Other participants, you can be, you know, praying and meditating on what you have heard. while you wait for the miracle prayer. For those who have given their life to Christ, remain standing until you are attended to. God bless you. If they are not attended to you, raise up your hand and wave it like this. Let me see. Wave it, wave it, wave it. Can Counselors, please note those people and our friends online, social media. You have given your life to Christ. Check the form, and fill it online and ensure you submit. Online converts, that will give me a light of Jesus Christ, You have connected with the Lord Jesus Christ. Fill that form now. And make sure you submit after filling. Please, if... Our television audience,
check your screen, you will see the WhatsApp number there. You can text your information and send to those uh, WhatsApp number. Counselors, if you have finished, the supervisors, you can wave your flag so that we know you have finished. Yes. Those on my left hand side, if you have finished, I can see your flag. Raise it up and wave to us so that we know you have finished. On the right hand side, wave your flag if you are finished so that we know you are finished. Please ensure no one is omitted. Our online convert, don't forget, feel that decision form there and to show that you have connected with Christ and submit. In the same way, radio, television, converse, those who are deciding to connect with Christ, to surrender their life to Christ, after that prayer you have prayed now, feel the information and send to the WhatsApp number on the screen. If you are finished, please indicate Everybody, we should be getting ready for the triumphant power to come into our life now. On the right hand side at the back, have we finished? The center, have we finished at the back? On my left hand side at the back, have you finished? God bless you. Get ready now. Get ready now. The time of your miracle is here. I say the time of your miracle is here. As our Father and the Lord comes to pray for us. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. The Lord, by triumphant power, will transfer miracle into your life. Yes. Healing in your body. Yes. Deliverance for you tonight in Jesus' name. Yes. The one that has power to forgive also has power to heal. The one that has power to save also has the power to deliver. And he invites you tonight and he says, look unto me. All the ends of the earth and be saved. 
I'll be healed. I'll be delivered because I am God and there is none else beside me. Tonight is coming to you at your point of need right there. You'll turn everything around in your life in Jesus' name. Identify the problem you have and lay your hand there and raise up the other hand and then we pray the God to the God who hears prayer, who answers prayer. We pray to the one who is everywhere present. Present there with you. Present there with you. Present there with you and with you over there and whatever the challenge Whatever the ailment, whatever the disease, the Lord tonight, by his power, in his grace, by his miracle walking divine power in your life, tonight is your night of healing. Raise up that hand, raise up that hand, raise up that hand. Leave the other hand where you have the problem. You. Are the candidate for the miracle tonight. Amen. For the transforming power of the Lord tonight. Amen. And that infirmity and that sickness and that disease and that thing that had been there that will not uh, let you live a healthy, happy, free life. Tonight, the Lord will deal with that thing. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Willing? Yes. Believing? Yes. Father, in Jesus' name. Yes. I thank you tonight because you're a mighty God and because you're a God that cannot fail. You're giving your word and the word is going to come true. I pray, Lord, manifest your healing power in the lives of the people tonight in Jesus' name. The God who is the same yesterday and today and forever. The God who says, I am God, I change not. Manifest that transforming power, triumphant power in the life of every sick person here today in Jesus' name. Jesus, the same yesterday and today and forever. And you went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. You are going to do today what you have ever done in the past and therefore lord i pray your healing virtue will flow through everyone right now healing touch come to everyone right now and healing testimony in every mouth now in jesus name just blind eyes i command you be opened in jesus name Insanity, madness, I command that spirit, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are deaf and dumb. I pray, Lord, by your mighty power, take that deafness away and take that dumbness away in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any swelling in their body. All that swelling, the Lord touch you right now in the neck, in the tummy, in the private part, anywhere, lymphatiasis. I command the swelling, come out in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who have any incredible disease like cancer, like blood just flowing and flowing. I'm asking, Lord, to touch them right now, transform their lives right now, heal them right now, set them free from that cancer in Jesus' name. The kidney problem there, I command kidney come alive and be healed in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who have any demonic oppression in their body, knocking their head or walking about in their body or just causing incurable problem there, I command that evil spirit, 
walking about in the body, come out in Jesus' name. But those who have any paralysis with that hand or with that leg or stroke or anything like that, and even the broken bones, heal them right now. Lord, heal them right now. Lord, make them to rise and walk in Jesus' name. Impossibilities become possible in your life. And the grace of God and the glory of God and the power of the Lord operate in your life right now. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your miracle. Confirm it, Lord, in every life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It is done. It is done. Check up yourself. You'll find that the miracle is there already. And whatever you couldn't have do before this, the time, because the miracle is there, the healing is there, you do it now. Open your blind eyes and you will see. On those lame, those blacks that were lame before rise up, now you can walk. And all those things that appeared in your body before, and now everything is taken away, check up, your miracle is there. Keep on clapping, keep on clapping. And as you are clapping, keep on checking up. Check your body, check your ears, check your eyes. Check what parts of your body, whatever you've not been able to do before. Now do it. The Lord has healed you. And as soon as you discover that the Lord has healed you, you give a shout of praise the Lord that we may all rejoice with you. Wherever you are, check your legs, check your eyes, check your ears, check all parts of your body. Do what you couldn't do before. Once you see the Lord has done something for you, then you shout, praise the Lord. Then we rejoice with you. Who is number one? Put your hands together for Jesus. It is happening there. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Who is number two? Who is number two? Who is number three? Who is number four? Keep on checking. It is happening there. It's happening there. The shouts of Praise is there. Put your hands together for Jesus. Keep on checking, keep on checking. It's not only one, it's not two or three or four. There's a flood of miracles here tonight. It's happening there. It's happening there. It's happening there. The Lord is doing it there. Triumphant power. Triumphant power of the Lord is at work. Check it, check your own, and bring them out, please. Bring them out, please. Give a shout of hallelujah, praise the Lord. As soon as you found that the Lord has healed you, then you come forward. It's happening there. Put your hands together. For Jesus. Amen. Check it again. Check up again. At the back. Check it. From the sides. Check it. Check your body. Your eyes. Your ears. All you've not been able to do before. Begin to do now. And give God the praise. As soon as you discover it, that the Lord has done it for you. We are waiting for you. They are coming out already. They are coming out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Put your hands together for Jesus. And those of us online, on the social media platforms, 
check yourselves out. So, all over the world, the power has been released. We've been connected to divinity, and now we can celebrate our healing. Bring them out quickly, quickly, quickly. Continue checking and start coming out. Our ushers, please bring them out. Many, many testifiers are there tonight. outside here already be interviewed what about you your ears that couldn't hear before speak now let somebody help you to test that that deaf ears you those deaf ears you can hear now and you've not been able to say anything to say a word because you were not able to speak your tongue was tied let somebody speak to you and say what you are hearing and you will see you've been healed. You've not been able to walk before. You can rise up now and walk. The power has been released. All we got to do is to check. Check the pains. Check the legs. Check the swellings. Go somewhere to check the swellings. Check whatever you need to check. And as soon as you discover it, that the Lord has healed you, you come forward and testify to the glory of the Lord. Say amen. amen. We are waiting for you online, all over the world, every nation now. We're waiting for you to testify to the triumphant power of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power has been released. It's time for us to collect and then testify to the glory of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, interviewers, please hurry up and start clearing them for testimony. It's testimony time. Wherever you are, you are not going to anywhere, but you are coming forward to testify to the goodness of the Lord, what the Lord has done for you. not wait for us. They are too eager to testify. Why would she try to organize ourselves here uh, with the, those who have been interviewed? Now testimonies online. We have the power of God touching lives everywhere online. And we now take you to northern Nigeria, Kaduna precisely, 
for this testimony. Kaduna. Praise the Lord. My name is Dr. Audu Awajima, and I'm a medical doctor. With me is a sister that was diagnosed of insomnia two years ago at the neuropsychiatry hospital. At the Great Emancipation Crusade, the Lord, through the prayer of Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, healed her. Let her say, share her testimony. Praise the Lord. I'm Miss John Audu. I want to thank God for this day that the Lord has made in my life. I was invited by a sister for this crusade. I'm not a Deeper Life member. So on Thursday, I came and I rededicate my life to Jesus. And on Friday, the Lord visited me. I have issue that I cannot sleep. And since 2020, I've been on drugs every day, morning and night. But the second day, which is on Friday, after the program, I went home and I, I started, I slept like a baby. And since then, I've been sleeping. So I'm here to say, God, thank you. And I also thank God for our daddy in the Lord that the Lord has used to heal me. I return all the glory to the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Insomnia cured. Praise the Lord. I am Audu Awajima, a medical doctor, and I can confirm that the mercy of God touched our young sister here who has suffered from peptic ulcer of one year duration by the prayer of the pastor, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, at the Great Emancipation Crusade, she received her healing. Praise the Lord. My daughter here, her name is Judy Johanna. We are from Kaduna State uh, Campground group of districts. This girl has been suffering from herself since last year. But we give God the glory every day. She must vomit, salivating, crying of headache, chest pain. Every day we took her to hospital. But this uh, sickness persists. But we thank God for this crusade. I decided, we decided with my husband that we are not taking her to hospital any longer. We have been praying. And by the grace of God, during the fair, this crusade, we prayed and we believed God that we need a miracle for her. And by the grace of God, the first day of the crusade, she received her healing. This girl has not been going to school because of this stomach uh, issue. Throughout this time, she did not go to school because of the sickness. I give God the glory because the Lord has done it for us. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together. For Jesus, healing of altar in the Eastern. Now we return to the moderating overseer. <laughs> Amen. We are still waiting now, but we want us to send the testifiers now. Uh, those who are ready, who have been interviewed from here, the Alpha location. And all over the world, online, all the social media platforms, check your healing. And if the Lord God has healed you, don't hesitate to testify. Send message, SMS, or record your own video clip and, and upload for us to help you praise the Lord from here. Praise the Lord. 
online testimonies again. We are still organizing the test parts here. Still online, we now take you to Bini City for another testimony. Bini City Live. My name is Ifada Happiness, Mrs. I'm from Bini East region, Edo State, Nigeria. I'm not a member of uh, Deeper Life Bible Church. I attend Christ Embassy. Um, due in June, in June um, that, that was the third week of June, I was having a very severe pain in my lower abdomen here. It was midnight. The pain was so severe, I was even scared because at that time, I, 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 I was preg I'm pregnant. So I was thinking maybe it's the baby that was moving. So um, daybreak, I was still having the pains. So when I called my Monday Lord, that uh, see, 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 see what I'm going through, but she didn't pick up. And I called my mom that I'm feeling pain that I, I don't understand what is happening. She I said she's coming, she's on her way. So they now took me to hospital, went to hospital. The doctor checked me, said I should go for a scan. And when I went for a scan, they now found out that it was five blood and I'm pregnant. So I was scared. The pain was still there. They gave me injection, they gave me drugs. It did not work. In fact, and if the drugs even, it, it, it was, it, it was still everything. The pain was so severe. So they said they will admit me. I, we said yes, but later my mom now said no. So we now called my mother-in-law. She now said she will come home. We now came home. So I didn't know that they were having this uh, global crusade. So she now told me that, don't worry, that I should have faith that we'll go to a uh, crusade in the evening. So that evening, I now followed them to their uh, church, to the crusade. So when the man of God was praying, when the man of God was preaching, I was just following him. I was enjoying the preaching. Before that, I was still having the pain, but it wasn't that severe. So when the man, uh, 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 Papa was praying, uh, preaching, I was still having small, small pain. So when he now said we should lay our hands where, uh, uh, wherever it's pain us, wherever we are having that affliction, so I now put my hand there. I, uh, the immediately, what I observed that immediately he, uh, he said the last amen. He wanted to even stand up. Before then, I couldn't even stand up. I couldn't, like I couldn't even do like this because the pain. If you feel, if you, if I touch this place now, if I touch that place, then the fibroid it will be showing. Even if you, if I open my cloth, you see the this thing. You just shoot out. So when he said, "Lay our hands wherever it's pain," I now laid my hands. As you mentioned, the last amen, in fact, and the thing just, it just disappeared like a magic. It disappeared. <laughs> Hallelujah. It disappeared like a magic. So, so, ah, I, 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 it, it, it's like something just left my body. I, I noticed something left. So I not sat down like this. My husband was sitting on the other side. Ah, it was just for cause. I, I said, ah, eh, eh, babe, come and see what, I'm not feeling any jumping in the church. I was always starting to not like, ah, is this girl okay? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So the following week, I now went to hospital. Then I checked. There was nothing, no pain, nothing. I'm just, I'm free. I'm okay. Praise the Lord. I want to thank Papa Kumuyi. Fibroid disappeared. With it is pain. back to the moderating overseer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Fibro disappeared with the pain. And the lady said, it's like a magic. That is power. She called it like a magic. We call it power. Triumphant power through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we want to listen to some testimonies here from the Alpha location in this place. And those of her to uh, started going home, don't go home. It's time for you to check yourselves. You will get home. The buses have been made available, available for you. Don't let the rain disturb you or the cold discourage you. Wait behind and hear the wonders of God. Now they testify. I'm Dr. Ade Yemo. 
a medical practitioner. I'm here to introduce to you Master Pama Fever, 18 year old uh, student who has been suffering from short sightedness, which means he could not see afar off. But this night, he got his miracle. Let's listen to him. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I'm, I'm Pama Fever Gwinga by name from ADM College of Education, Chemistry Department, 200 level. So I've been, I've been doing this program of eyesight since birth, let's say around 15 years now, whereby I couldn't see anything that is far. But as I'm speaking with you right now, I could see the extreme edge at over there, the miracle God has done for me, something that I was even planning to collect glasses this Saturday, which is tomorrow, but I didn't know that I'm going to receive my healing. Praise the Lord. So before I want to go, I want to use this song to appreciate God because he has done marvelous things to me in my life. The song goes this way. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. <laughs> Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Well, 15 years, short sightedness cured in the instant. We give glory to the Lord God Almighty. He was to take a glasses, a pair of glasses this Saturday, tomorrow, but now that has been cancelled. Triumphant power through Jesus Christ our Lord. Another testify. Cause all my life you have been so faithful. Amen, sister. Amen. Give us a testimony, please. Praise because the Lord. The troubled people of God, praise the Lord. My name is Philip Joy. I'm from Akura South, Sri Lanka Group. I'm here this evening to testify for the goodness of God, how God hid me from Hossa. It started from when I was in SS1. That was one year and eight months now. But that yesterday, the first day of the crusade, the Lord God Almighty visited me in a miraculous way that I didn't know I don't expect. It's often that I just feel something. After the last amen, I feel something like sharp object in my stomach. As in maybe... I don't know, maybe the stomach wants to cut into two. But I'm still rejoicing with the miracle the Lord is doing in our midst. So the Spirit told me that, go and check yourself. But tomorrow you are going to testify. In the morning, before I ate around seven. But that yes, today. Okay, the Spirit told me that by 10 o'clock. Okay, I didn't say anything. But after 10, we have they serve us our meal. I didn't, I, I, I didn't experience any stomach. As in, I was free. As in, I was happy. I went to our CM, Sister Henry, and he told me that I should go and go and testify for the goodness of the Lord. Please help me to shout a bigger hallelujah. Altar taken away in Jesus' name. Now she's eating without pain. And without the, the sting of altar. Praise the Lord. Next testifier, please. Praise the Lord! Triumphant people of God, praise the Lord! Hallelujah. My name is James Matthew. I'm from Owenda region. 
my testimony, my testimony goes on. From the past two years, I've been having severe eyes crushing. It has been crushing me. Even within five minutes, each five, five minutes, the eyes will be scratching me. And it has it happened to my mom, happened to my siblings. But after the prayer of the man of God yesterday, everything stopped. I wanted to come out, but the spirit told me that wait, don't go and testify like that. That when it is tomorrow, you testify. So I obey. And since morning, since morning, the eyes has not been scratching me. And the thing will happen every five, five minutes. I'll be feeling this eyes scratching. But since morning, there is nothing like that. Praise the Lord! Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Let us celebrate Christ in the life of that brother whose eyes have not been scratching him for some years now. The scratching has stopped. Give God the glory as we wait for the next testify. Just to mention what the brother has been complaining of is allergic conjunctivitis. And tonight, yesterday, he got his miracle. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're now switching on to uh, social media platforms. We have miracles happening there. Online, please. Things, the power of God happening online. Let's take you to social media platforms now. From the social media, we have this. He calls himself Dr. Preneur. He says, I had a sharp pain in my umbilical region. This made me have difficulty in breathing. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, the sharp pain disappeared. And right now, I have my full healing. Also, we have this coming from Brights or SAS from the Facebook page uh, from Edo State. It said that he got his miracle from serious pains in the heart, which he has been feeling before now. But after the prayers, those pains, the physical pains, pressing the, 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 the position, he discovered that the pain is gone, and now he has received his healing. This is from Chidera Simeon, a 12-year-old, who is rejoicing because he has received salvation. And the person is writing, I am happy, praise the Lord. Now I am born again. We also have this from David So James. David wrote on YouTube that during the just concluded crusade at Ikorodu, he had an issue with his belly, which affected his walking ability and eating habits. He said he discovered that the pain was due to ulcer, which developed as a result of certain conditions. But after the prayer of the man of God, after the final amen, he left went back to the hospital to confirm and he found out that all the challenges with ulcer have completely disappeared praise the lord and this is coming from liberia Sento masali according to him is grateful to god for the blessings upon him himself and his family he said since he's been following the series of the gck his character, his attitude, and everything about him has changed because of the teaching of the man of God. And now he's thanking God for the great change he's experienced. Eunice O. Adiko also experienced change, transformation, a change of life, and is totally now saved and says, I am happy because I have the joy of salvation. With this, we return to the moderating overseer. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As we bring the next testifier, let's give God the praise a little bit. Thank you. 